Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. SimUK here, Tank Simulator. We've unlocked everything! We are absolutely amazing. What I want to do, what I want to do, my target is to get the blueprints for the for the uh, M26 Pershing tank. And then we're going to rebuild our own tank to 100% completed. That's the goal. We're about halfway there. So, um, let's get some jobs on the go. We've expanded the... We'll do the primer job. Uh, renovation, that's 170,000, uh, sorry, 17,000 or 12,000. It's a Sherman. Let's do the Sherman. So we now have space for two tanks, which is pretty flipping cool. Now this one here, I believe, is the primer. That's the M10 Wolverine, and that was that was for priming, right? Let's check this. M10 Wolverine, yeah. Okay, right. So, ah, we don't need to go get the tools anymore. We have them on our person permanently. Let's just move the turrets. Oh, look at this. You've got two areas for turrets now. There's the engine. We still only have one engine bay, so we can only do one engine at a time, but that's not bad. Oh, it looks like... Yeah, you can scroll up and down with the mouse to select your tool. That's pretty awesome as well. Uh, Alright, this one. Let's get going. Okay, well, I've got to say, that's quite a nice little tank to work on that. I've enjoyed uh, sorting that out. And there's a couple of bits here that look like I haven't done them, but actually they are parts that cannot be uh, fixed. They just need to be replaced. So um, I'm going to... Oh, see, I'm still trying to put tools down. I don't need to. So we need a box and we need tools. So let's uh, select the right tank. We'll say box. And let's see if you can do it this way. Tools. So will I now have. No, see, I only got tools. So it's frustrating. You can't have like a shopping list. You can't go through, pick all the bits you want, and then order them at the end. You should be able to do that, really. I think as much as I do like this game, um, and I think it's my... <sighs> and as I say that, I get presented with that other bug, which drives me flipping mad. Um, I think it's just lazy development. Um, I mean, these, these are logic bugs as opposed to, you know, an unexpected bug. They just haven't thought about it properly. That's the problem here. Still, uh, we can get out. We can overcome that. It's not that big a deal. It's not that big a deal. Right, what am I doing here? Sandblasting. Let's do it. Let's get it done. So I didn't spot this earlier, but it looks like possibly these uh, chairs, yeah, are replaceable only. So the seats, 
So, okay, let's get the seats. Uh, for an M10 Wolverine, assistant seat. Try that again. Seat. Weird. Weird. M10 Wolverine seat. So you, can't <laughs> so you can't search for a driver's seat, and the only seat that it appears to show you is the assistant seat, which I assume, and it is a complete assumption, is the right one, but I don't know for sure. Let's try taking this out. It's going to put the old ones in. No, it's going to put the new ones in. Hooray! All right, well, look at that. that worked out pretty well, I suppose. Wow! Do you see how the game, f if I'm walking and I swap my tool, it completely stops. Absolutely stops dead. That's not well coded. That's a logic bug right there as well. Okay. So there's a few annoyances in this game, but otherwise, it's a very good game. I mean, it's very similar. I want to know what these go faster stripes at the back are. I assume they're intended as additional um, protection for the for the driver and the uh, the captain, the spotter at the top. But uh, I don't know that for a fact. If there's a another reason, I'd really like to figure out what that is. I might have to do some research. But if you know, let me know in the comment section because it saves me having to go and. Look it up, if somebody already knows. Let's make sure we've got all the bits done. I hate it when I miss a little, tiny little bit. Right, I think that's, uh, I think that's good. I forget now, do we need to put primer on this? Pretty sure that's part of the job, let's have a look. Uh, put primer on our tank. Yep, okay. So that's it. The final part of this job is primer. I've got to say, I, I do wish spray painting and stuff, well, all of it actually, spray painting, uh, sandblasting, rust removal, I, I wish it was more based on where you're aiming because right here I'm, I'm aiming in the middle of all this and it's just done the whole lot I'd rather it actually be me that does it rather than it kind of just does it itself it's 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 not as rewarding having played um, Diesel Brothers if you haven't played that game uh, go check it out when it's on sale it's it's a fun little multiplayer game but the the sandblasting and the painting on that are absolutely brilliant. They're really rewarding. It really feels like you're doing something, which is nice. I'm not sure I've done that properly. Why hasn't that gone red? Let me just check this for a second. Didn't sandblast it down properly, and that's why. Oh, but interestingly, it still doesn't go red. Ah, okay. Well, we'll check that later. Uh, yeah, so uh, Diesel Brothers isn't the best game in the world by any stretch of the imagination, but the, uh, the way that they've done sandblasting and painting and stuff, uh, it's really good so much more engaging than this 
takes a little bit more work to get stuff done, obviously. But I kind of like that. This just feels rather disconnected. This is like, you know... I could get anybody to do this. This is not difficult at all. And as such, it's, it's not quite as fun. Overall, this is the better game, but that part of Diesel Brothers is definitely better. Anyway, let's get this done. Taking too long. Surely you don't paint the engine, right? No, didn't think so. Okay, well that's it, that's Primer. That's primed up. Um, antenna. Instrument panel. Gun attachment. Seat. Rocket wheel. Trunnion. Rocket Will Trunnion. Okay, so one of the seats is not done. Is it you? Have I just failed to spray it completely? Okay, that's what that was. That is what that was. Uh, what was the other thing? It's so easy to miss parts. The antenna and the instrument panel and a pin. Some pin somewhere. A gudgeon pin. Oil cooler. Oh, I know what that is. Okay, so I've probably forgotten, as I always do, to take the engine cover off. We've got our new tool now, so even if these are rusty, they'll come off. Ah, yeah, I can see some parts. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Ah, not what I was expecting. Um, okay, let's just try prime, uh, putting primer on it. So none of those can be primered. Is it because they're part of the engine and therefore don't need to be spray painted? Yeah, it doesn't make sense that it would need to be spray painted, does it? Um, okay. Hmm. All right. Okay, uh, let's try getting inside. See if we can figure out. Oh, well, look at you! Look, look here. That's the instrument panel, all right. Oh, it's replaceable only. Of course, it is. How am I going to replace that then? Because I can't do it whilst I'm in, sat inside it. 
that's going to be tricky. M10 Wolverine instrument. How do I get to it? I can't see it without getting into the tank. Maybe if I do it from further away. Oh, that didn't work. Driver's slot. Why is the driver's slot right next to it? And the radiator slot. Oh, there we go. Didn't work last time. So how do I get it out? <laughs> like that. That's how I get it out. Uh, okay, well that's all great, but how do I how do I now put it in? Because I can't see. I cannot see that part of the tank. Um, ah, that's, that's a problem. That is a big problem. How am I going to do that? I, I tell you what, I bet you I'm going to have to do it through something. Like that. <sighs> That's not ideal, is it? That's really not ideal. Alright, where are we at? Antenna. Where does the antenna go? Oh, look. I completely didn't see that. There is a delay. Oh my god. Oh, give me the rust removal tool, please. Stop doing that. There is a really long delay between pressing it to turn it on and it actually turning on. Okay, that's that done. Um, what else have we forgotten? Something else. It's those pins, isn't it? Sprocket wheel trunnion and a pin. Two pins. That gudgeon pin has not been painted, apparently. How am I meant to find that now? I've got to take the wheels off to get to these pins. You're going to make... Ah, there's the gudgeon pin. So I found the gudgeon pins. That's cool. I know where they are now. don't know which one is not painted or not whatever. Ah, that one. So is it just that one pin? I think it is, just that one pin. And then there's a sprocket wheel gudgeon as well, which I'm not sure how I would get to it.
Ah, the trunnion. Not a gudgeon at all, it's a trunnion. Okay. Alrighty, and we'll put all this back on. Imagine it. Imagine if it was really that easy in real life. So we get the gudgeon pins in there. And we'll figure out which one it is that's not perfectly restored. And then we'll fix that. That one isn't. Okay. The only thing that needs is paint. Still telling me it's zero percent done, which is weird. It looks painted. Something something still isn't. Pin. Two pins. Sprocket wheel trunnion. I've done that. And another pin. Maybe it's the sprocket wheel trunnion on the other side. The air filters, the oil cooler, the air intake manifold, the bracket, the starter. What? Grass removal is only 83%. Oh, okay. We've missed loads of stuff. How did I do that? Oh, we don't we don't spray that do we so this hasn't been done properly either rust removal okay so I did a rubbish job of uh, removing the rust off the engine really 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 bad job okay so that's all that done now where's this bloody spring let's go into here Find a spring. Pin, sorry. A pin. That pin there. Ah, uh, I see it. Okay, smack bang in the middle of the thing. So that pin there has no paint on it. I think that's all we needed to do. Ah, that one's still got rust on it. Okay, we're getting there, slowly. It's tough, <laughs> it really is tough. Uh, interior, um, no, what am I doing? Click on that, then that. Organizer. Oh man, what do we what do we miss this time? So many tiny little parts that are hard to see. Oh, there's another pin somewhere. And a sprocket wheel trunnion. Two pins and a sprocket wheel trunnion. Lacking repair. And the gears as well. It's annoying. Alright, see if we can find these pins. There's one. Oh, it's 
See, I've gone and sprayed it in colour now. Wasn't meant to do that. Uh... Oh, once you've painted it, you can't get the paint back off. <laughs> oh, no! Look what I've done to the side of the tank. Oh, ball aches. <sighs> That's annoying. All right, let's take this front track off. Let's take the sprocket wheel off. And then we can get to this sprocket wheel trunnion. We can fix this up. I think it just needs sanding. And then spraying. Um... So I'm in primer mode now. Okay, good. There's a pin somewhere. There she is. I see you. I've got you. Okay, right. Let's put these bits back on. Looking much more like a tank now. Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> That's so annoying. There's no way to get that off, I don't think. Let's just, just out of curiosity, let's just give it a go. So if I, I mean, if I hit it, that's not going to get get it off. Rust removal, that doesn't do anything. Uh, spray, sandblaster, that doesn't do anything. Paint, no. There's no way of fixing that. So if you accidentally do that, you're stuck with it. Oh, seriously, what have I missed? Gearbox shaft. Oh. Oh, wow. There's a whole part of the tank I didn't even know existed. How do I get in there? Um. Oh, look at this. Now I've learnt something. Yeah, I didn't think we'd be spraying that, to be honest. Is there anything inside there that needs my attention. What about these bits? So that's all finished. That's all done. Okay. Okay. I, I had no idea they were there. Without this... Without the ability to click and go over, I would not have found that. So it's saying 98%, so something isn't done. Now, I can finish the order, I'm just wondering... Generator regulator. Something in the floor. Look at that! There's another section to this tank I didn't know existed. Um, okay, so... Taking the floor out. So, can I now... Just need sanding. And then painting. Actually, it won't need painting, will it? Because it's already done. Okay, good. And let's put the floor back in. And that now, officially, is done. Get the turret back on it. And get the engine back in it. Oh, what happened to the turret? What the heck? Where did the turret go? Something weird going on. <laughs> ah! 
Okay, that's. I'm assuming that's a bug. It could be any number of reasons why that hasn't worked, but uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know where it's gone. It should be on the tank, and it isn't. Right. Uh, required repairs all done. Finished the order. Hundred percent. Ka-ching! 215,000. We're not far off now. Um, required repairs. Okay, so this one, very simple, very straightforward. Just a case of sandblasting the living daylights out of it. Oh, wrong button. Nope, try again. Uh, put that on two, which should be there. Excellent. And... Put the engine over there. All right. Let's get going. Okay. Oh, no. I've forgotten this entire side. No, I have done it. Yes. So that is done. Did forget that, though. The Sherman is one of those tanks that has so many finickety little half-hidden parts. It's, it's the easiest one, I think, to miss bits on. I did miss the muzzle. But okay, all right, let's, do, let's get sanding and then we can see exactly what we've missed. There we go, there's one bit we missed straight away. Behind the the uh, captain's head. Very tricky to see. Okay, I think that's it. Ah. Ah, it's tricky to get up this one. She can't. You can't get up there on this one. Damn. Okay, we'll, we'll have to move the turret over and then uh, I'll sort it out in a minute.
That is still rusty. I think this bit over here was still rusty as well. Where did why did I see something over here? Oh this pin. Okay. Back to it. Yeah, the M4 Sherman is a... It's one of my least favourite tanks to do in this game. Because it's so intricate, so many tiny little bits. That it's just so difficult to see. That's kind of weird, because in many ways, I would like there to be more intricate bits. So I think, because everything else is so straightforward and so easy, it really makes this one stand out as being difficult and awkward. But if they were all difficult and awkward, then I'm not sure if I would like it more or like it less. It's a bit of a tricky situation. Bit of a tricky situation. Right, let's bring the turret back. No, see, that is definitely a bug. So now I can't clean the top of the turret. I wonder if I put it outside and then bring it back in, would that fix it? That's definitely a bug. Okay. Um, so the engine's back in. Let's move it outside. So there's no way of bringing the tank in unless you go out, looks like. Okay guys, so um, booting up, let's see, keep our fingers crossed, hopefully we haven't lost the whole tank or something horrible like that. I've just logged into the uh, TMS Discord server in the hopes of alerting them to this bug, but it would appear that they put too many limitations on it, I have to be a member for 10 minutes, then I have to read all the rules and stuff, it's like I'm testing this on your behalf, I'm giving you free... Uh, Free, free hours of my time for tug, bug testing, etc., and potential sales. It looks like it's fixed anyway. Um, you know, don't make it more difficult for me to tell you about bugs because I haven't got time to play the game for eight hours and wait around and do all the little hoops you want me to jump through. Just let me quickly tell you about bugs. I don't want to sign up. I don't want to log in. I don't want to create an account i don't want to do any of that i just want to tell you about a bug that's in your game before the game's released just let me do that for god's sakes anyway i'm moaning now because it's annoying ah uh, how do i do this take this into workshop let's put it on one so the good news is that i can now get up on top and finish off these last little bits that need doing I think this job is probably done, truth be told. Good. Let's have a look. Is this job done? Yes, it is. 22, oh my God, what happened there? $227,000. Uh, and 26 Pershing. How much are the blueprints? I've forgotten. 370,000. We're getting closer. We need another 150, 143,000, technically. Right. Mailbox. Uh, we've done. We've done. What's this? KV2. And it needs some re renovation to be in perfect condition. 
An extraction. We'll always take the extractions. Um, so yeah, he's got a, a version 4 Panzer that needs some work done on it. Not much by the looks of things. Okay, we'll accept that order as well because it's a nice easy one. And uh, we'll wrap this one up. Say thank you for watching. Please join me for another one. Hopefully some... You know, I'm doing my best with these series. If they're not interesting, just let me know. And um, I'm enjoying it. But if nobody else is, then I don't know what the point of me uploading it is. Let's put it that way. Yeah, that's the truth of it. All right. Um, so join me in the next one if you want to. Don't if you don't. And uh, I'm going to carry on anyway. I want to get that blueprint. Thanks for watching. Take care. Till next time. Goodbye for now.